A lot of you guys get excited this time of year for Black Friday deals and stuff like that. I do too. I get excited if there's a sale on dog food. <laughs> so there was a sale on dog food and um, they didn't have enough in the store. So I rain checked it and I had to go back today and pick up my dog food. Well, it's been wet and rainy here, so I brought my car and I can only fit half of it in because I had to get um, bird food also. So I have to go back tomorrow and pick up the other half of the dog food. But that's what Black Friday shopping excites me. It's um, dog food, dog food sales. And we always have to have biscuits on hand for Miss Fiona. If we run out, there's a problem. Hello everybody. So a little update of what's been going on here at Devoted Danes. Last week our puppies went home. So I was very busy um, getting them all to the vet, getting them all their shots and stuff and getting them ready to go home. So they all went home. So, so we have a new record. Mr. Motley is now our biggest puppy that um, Devoted Danes has produced. So he was 24.6 pounds, which is pretty big. So here's a look at Eleanor's room. It pretty much looks like it did before, but it's nice and clean. This is a basket of just our towels. If Ellie Wilbs at home, I'll be prepared. I have another basket in the closet of um, blankets. I am maybe thinking about putting together one of my raised beds and putting in the other end for mama to lay on. I have a bigger one. Um, but all her bedding's ready. The room's ready. I scrubbed the floors, really did a good job. Um, and then I went back and washed with soap and water. So I'm actually pretty excited too. I have another little discount that I found. So, um, having nine great Danes meant, means that I've spent hundreds of dollars on beds. Beds, some of them chew. Um, some of them just weigh too much and they break. So I started using the Cadundra beds. I'm probably pronouncing that not exactly correct, but, um, I bought it for my youngsters, my younger ones, and they love them. So I was looking to buy more because I have some other, um, of my Danes that actually like using bedding and, um, Farley, one of them, he's just very heavy. And then any bed I buy from Chewy, he just, eventually he gets on it and it just, the metal breaks. So I'm excited that I signed up for um, the Cadundra Pro because I do have a kennel. I was able to get those beds at discounted prices, which was pretty happy. So, I mean, if you have multiple dogs and you wanna buy beds, um, I would definitely sign up for them. It's easy to sign up. You just have a telephone conversation afterwards and you get some discounts. So I was able to buy Farley a huge bed at a smaller bed price pretty much. So I'm waiting for them to come in for, and I can go on and purchase, you know, it's if you, the more you buy, um, the better discount you get. But I usually just buy a couple at a time or a few at a time because they are expensive beds. But if you're spending $50 on a bed and it breaks and you've bought them several, you're really paying more for the cheap ones. So I do have a, a bed that I might set up in here for Eleanor um, for her to use too. But that was another little discount that I found that I thought I should pass on to other viewers because I didn't know about it. And then I just kind of stumbled on it and I was like, oh, I can do this. So that was another little... Uh, thing I know it was not Black, Black Friday deal, but it was just another deal out there to help um, people that buy a lot of stuff. I mean, uh, we have hit up uh, Chewy for Black Friday stuff. I always get treats and I did get more leashes and stuff like that. Um, so when I take the gang for a walk or for some reason we had to evacuate, everybody has a head harness, everybody has a leash. So times nine, and then if you have dogs that like to chew them, you're always looking to buy stuff. Like I have so many collars um, 
I have tons of puppy collars. I have tons of younger collars for the younger dogs that we got. Um, I actually have collars. These are some of the collars from our younger dogs that have been disinfected and kind of just put up here. I think this is Eva's when she was a puppy, but these are just from my, some of the ones from my younger Danes. And then this is their closet that kind of catch all has their dishes, more raised beds, extra bedding in there. Up here I have toys, AI kits, um, people that don't know what AI is. So, um, so her room is ready. We're ready for the puppies. Um, here comes a visitor, the queen of the house, Fiona. There's no babies yet for you to come visit. She doesn't like when they try to nurse her. You telling them what's going on out there, Fiona? So yes, we had a dilemma too. We ran out of biscuits. Somebody was not happy. We had to make sure we added those to our tractor supply trip today and all is well. She's okay now. Are you having puppies? When are your puppies due, Fiona? <laughs> Fiona is a retired girl. She doesn't have puppies. She does like to come in and visit them though, when she sees fit. So, it's pretty long waiting list for these two litters. We're not really sure how many they're gonna have yet. So, like we tell everybody, um, if you don't make it to one of these litters, um, you'll get, you get moved over to the next litter, which is Magnolia and um, Farley. So, and then for some reason you don't like their colors, you can go to our another list. We don't have a problem with that. Um, we have had some people wait a year for a specific color or sex gender. So that's not a problem for us. So we always take deposits. We just, cause we really just never know. Um, and we'll get a head count next week, but there's still not a hundred percent guarantee that they'll be accurate. Sometimes they're off. They were, for having bad x-rays last time, they were pretty spot on. They were six puppies, that's what she had. So we are going to be bringing them to our repo vet for x-rays this time. And then if we need them, our vet's um, on watch to know when they go into labor and if we have any complications. They're already in the system, they go there, they're already clients. So if I call and say, hey, I'm having problems, like I did, with Eva. Oh yeah, help yourself to the water that I put down for Ellie. I mean, really. Um, so when I had problems with Eva, I could just bring her right in, wasn't a problem, and she ended up having a C-section. So we're hoping all goes well, but if it doesn't, we're prepared for that too. This is what it's like when it's cold out. <laughs> They're all inside. This is Frankie. His birthday is in a couple of days. He'll be a big seven, seven years old. This is Ellie. She's pregnant. The Eva, her babies just went home. This is what she likes to do. Rest on the couch. Fiona never leaves the couch. No, this is what she likes to do. Ellie's just chilling on the floor, on the rug, because all the seats are taken. Cause, so she's just waiting. She's just waiting. You itching that big belly? So we have puppies due within a couple of weeks for her. She keeps herself clean. <laughs> You're so silly, Eleanor. So they've had breakfast, they've went out. Now they're just kind of chilling. What do you guys think? First snow in New Hampshire, and we're getting dumped bad. And the little guys are like, what is this? What is this, kids? Diesel's trying to eat the snow already. Maggie too. Wait till they get a foot of snow. That's uh, do to come here. Ugh, I hate when it comes down so fast. 
These guys are liking it so far. They keep trying to eat the snow on the, the plastic pallet. The birds don't like it so much. They're way over there. 